So now, let us do the stupid decision of eating the fish. I freaking... Where we come from, fish is normally eaten. We shouldn't have said anything. As soon as Al heard me say that, she scarfed down the fish without cooking it? Then she contracted a major case of food poisoning and could barely move a limb. Wow. Didn't even think about cooking it. That's stupid. Forgot about this part. So, uh, what happens when everybody runs for it? I think we all know. We tried running for it, but the suddenness of its appearance caught us off guard. There was nowhere to go. Each second mattered. Each moment lost it was one step closer to death. None of us could have dealt with the attack coming from the skies. One after the other, my comrades were felled by an eerie beam of light. I was the last one to die because of someone else's indecision. I was incinerated, left to rot on the body of my comrade. Well, that one was... lit. <laughs> So, what exactly happens when you run as fast as you can and not save the lady first? I don't know if it's my lack of exercise or my lack of sound judgment. But, for a moment, the sounds of the screeching car were synchronized with the sensation of Woody and I being lifted from the air. The last thing I saw before slamming against the wet pavement was Woody's neck twisted and broken before I was enveloped by darkness. Glad there was no CG for that at least. Now this time, how about that I'm scared? Seeing the massive size of our foe had shattered our moral into pieces. Perhaps if we had a fearless leader to march us into battle, then we would have survived. But within a few minutes, we were ripped to shreds. Wow. It's sad how they just basically roast Sheena in that. <laughs> Let's see what happens if you beat them to the chase. Okay. I anticipated the direction of where the shadow light beam was running, so I cut it off. As a result, it stopped, vanishing into the chilly mist. In a stroke of misfortune, we found ourselves in a much worse predicament. Oh. I already know that's Rupuka. Wow. Okay. So you got eaten alive. Sounds good. So, what if you just go full on uh, crybaby and coward and just say this? No, I don't want to die. What day was it? How many weeks? Months had passed? I was beginning to lose track of time, but I think I've endured enough. I relented, giving up what I knew about where to find the data. They released me without bothering to verify if the information was correct or not. However, I paid the ultimate price for my freedom, a price that haunted me in every turn. Sometimes, I would catch myself thinking about Sheena, I felt sick to my stomach. I didn't deserve to have her name in my mouth. Eventually, I forgot about everything. God. What's Iris? I don't know what you're talking about. Uh. Oh, really now? You want to play dumb? Or are you just a masochist? Huh? I, I... I really don't know. Data from Iris. Data... Wait... Are you talking about... Oh, have we finally jogged your memory? N no... It's nothing. I... I'm not asking you to think. I'm telling you to answer me. Tell me everything. <laughs> Okay, okay, 
I received a mysterious email some time ago. There was a massive folder with a ton of data on it, but I thought it was just spam. Out of curiosity, I decided to try opening it, but in the end, I couldn't find a way to access what was inside. Do you think it was Iris? Where is this data? Didn't you hear me? I thought it was spam. I deleted it almost instantly. I lied impulsively. It was the email sent from the world's Odyssey MGMT address. The sender turned out to be Sheena. A mysterious file that couldn't be unzipped, followed by the sudden revival of World's Odyssey and the appearance of mass criminals. There's no way they're not all connected to whatever was in that email, and Iris. However, it's still on my laptop. Is it really smart for me to disclose any of this to them? What if they call my bluff? There's a chance that Tokyo, Lydia, Rin, and Mikata could be exposed to danger. For now, I'll just have to endure their torture. Ah, uh, I see. So you deleted it, then die. <clears throat> Was I just stabbed? My rib is throbbing. Would they really kill me? What the hell is happening? He'll finally bleed out soon, won't he? Find a place to dump the body. Crap. I... I need to warn everyone. <coughs> Is this the shrine? What happened? To me. Ow! Oh, damn it. Guess it wasn't a bad dream. Looks like the stab wound's for real. And they decide to leave me for dead back at the shrine. Yikes. I think the wound is getting infected. There's some dirt inside of it. Fuck. Maybe the dirt's why I didn't bleed to death. Shit. It hurts. I feel like I'm gonna faint. How long was I in there for? How long did they torture me? Well, at least the wound's clotted. Maybe it's been a few days. If they think I'm dead, then their next target might be. I need to hurry. Florida, what the hell happened to you? Sorry, Tokyo. You need to run for it. How could you just up and leave for days, then show up looking like this? It's kind of suspect, don't you think? You're gonna tell me everything that happened to you later, but first we need to call an ambulance. Don't just hurry. Good work, Arata Mizunashi. What? Hell! <laughs> you think that someone who would go to the lengths of torturing and dumping you would just let you run off unsupervised? I can read the headlines now. Tortured man escapes captivity and warns friends of their imminent doom. What a brave, harrowing tale. Luckily, he was able to warn his closest friend of the terrible fate that awaited her. <laughs> I salivate at the thought. This is no hero's journey, though, boy. <laughs> Unfortunately, things aren't going to go as you hope. You have no idea what lies in store for you. So, where's the date? Hmm? It's stored here, right? Uh, 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 oh, does that hurt? 
can't take any more, can you? Before you go, I want to thank you for bringing me this far. I can stop at any time. You tell us where to look, and we don't need to prolong your suffering. Save us and yourself the trouble. It's easy, right? <laughs> <laughs> you can barely function. I doubt that you can move or talk for much longer. Now, die! No! I won't let you guys kill Arta! Don't kill her, you idiot! I'm fine. I promise. I'll protect you, okay? Oh, that's so? So be it! <laughs> Amazing how easily a knife can tear through human flesh. I wonder how your body reacts to pain. Farewell. <laughs> 